What's up guys? So today I'd like to start a new series of deceptive sword strikes. Uh, so these are all techniques which I haven't got from manuals but other people have taught me or I've developed for myself and they're techniques which I've found to work very very well in sparring or competition. So we're going to start off with uh, one of the simplest techniques and one of the most iconic uh, deceptive sword techniques and that is simply fainting to go high and attacking low instead. Now obviously it isn't quite as simple as that, so I'd like to tell you a few ways of maximising the chance of it landing and minimising the chance of the other person striking you in return. So the first thing is how you set it up. So what I like to do is called the rule of threes. It's a technique which my instructor taught me I don't know where the technique originated from, it's probably originated from quite a few places because it's such a simple trick, but what you do is if you faint twice in the same place, you'll get your opponent thinking that's where your next attack is, and especially if you start your third attack in a very similar way. So if I do this twice, my opponent is going to be thinking, oh, that's coming to my outside um, high or my inside high, depending on whether they're left or right-handed. And that is going to give you the set the setup you need to actually execute the technique. So normally, if you're just doing a simple straight, if you're just doing a simple attack, you want to be minimizing your telegraphing as much as possible. So rather than coming in like that, you would be coming down the centre line, making it very difficult for them to predict what you're coming going to do, and then you'd um, direct your attack at the last instant you can where the technique is still actually going to do something. So, um, yeah, normally you'd be trying to minimise telegraphing as much as possible, but in this case, you want to be telegraphing enough to actually make them think you're going for the attack. Now obviously if you completely over exaggerate it they're going to know something is a little bit amiss there. If I started doing this then yeah they probably think hang on he's, he's, he's trying to pull something here. But you want to be telegraphing enough to fool them. So I'm going to be coming in and then doing some something like that. Now there's a few other things you want to be taking into account. So first, um, first off, don't be looking where you're going to attack. So you want to carry on looking up as you're delivering that low attack um, because it makes it much harder to predict. If you start looking down, which a lot of beginners do, so they'll do that and then they'll do that, it's going to make it a lot easier for your opponent to realise what you're actually trying to do. So stay looking at your target the whole way. And the other advantage of that is you can see what they're going, what they're doing in return more clearly. So perhaps they're moving back out of range, and your your attack isn't going to land. And in return, they're coming in to strike you in the head. And in that case, then at least you've got some opportunity to be able to get back into a guard and get back out of range. Just disengage and continue on from there. Or maybe you want to press in, uh, whatever you want to be, be doing from there. You've got more of a chance of surviving the encounter if you're actually looking at what they're doing. So um, yeah, that is most of what you need to know for the technique there. So you'd be, use, use a rule of threes, go low. Now, when you're attacking low, you actually lose a bit of range. So if I'm attacking here, you can see where that range is. The lower I bring it, the more range I lose. So when you actually go for that attack, you want to be coming in a little bit deeper than you normally would to try to make sure that the attack actually lands. Now, assuming you've actually managed to land the attack from there, what you do, or if you've missed, after the attack's gone past, you want to be bringing it back into guard and get back out of range as quickly as possible. Uh, so one other final note to minimise the chance of you actually being hit in, um, hit in return. I really wouldn't be recommending uh, doing this if the opponent's in uh, medium guard, because instead of trying to block and repost, instead what they might decide to do is just thrust and get back out of range. 
And if they, if they do that, provided their timing isn't completely shit, they're going to have been able to stab you and get back out of range before your attack hits, regardless of whether you're, whether you're going low, whether you're going high, or whether you're going low. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Very, very simple attack. Uh, but there are a few things you need to take into account, so quick recap. Uh, use the rule of threes to help deceive them. Carry on looking at your target and at your opponent. Make sure you really sell them on your going high before you go low. And then back into guard and out of range. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in part two. Bye.